Hey guys, how are you? Today I'll be teaching you how you can make your own very game like this one right here. So uh, let me just show you the gameplay for a bit. I have made only two levels, so the thing in this game, this guy is going to be a character. Sorry for the background noise, it's just my baby sister. So um, right here we got this uh, character and you have to reach our chest as you can see right here. So let's just press escape and so this is how my game starts. I've done all the programming. So right here you're gonna uh are you gonna get this message? You're gonna click to continue. Let me just show you the bit of the gameplay. So as you can see I'm gonna be using my arrow keys and W A D so uh, you can do whatever one suits you the best. So I like arrow keys, so I'm gonna be playing with arrow keys. You can play with W A D, I'll leave the link in the description so you can play this thing. And um, yeah, so this is how the gameplay goes. So we can just fall down in here and down here. Oh yeah, I forgot I put a block right here. Let me just delete it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that's it. And let's just play it again. So you can click to continue and then you, all you have to do is play the whole thing. And so this is how you can play it easy peasy. Yeah, it's just, it's just like Super Mario and like in this website, you can create many more games of your own uh, because you can make as many accounts as you want on Google, so no limit on the games. This is another path where you can take and easy win. And then I just let this go into the second level right here and I say play smartly. Not everything will get you to the end, okay, so you got to use your mind. You can't just go all the way down and there and there and there and you'll reach the end. No, you have to use your brain, okay? So, let's just play the game. So, first of all, you go here. One, two, three. Okay, try, just try not to fall down because then uh, you won't be able to get a revive. So, we're going to go here. We're going to go we're gonna go straight up here. Oh, sheesh. There we go. We're gonna go up, be right there. Okay, and um, oh, sorry, I wasn't seeing. Let's just uh, restart the whole level. So this is how uh, your gameplay is gonna be. So let's just get started on how to make one. So first of all, you go to flow. Oh, oh sorry, lab dot. I O, right? Why? Yeah. Enter. So, sorry, um, just search for lab, okay? And click enter. Uh, by the way, you'll need a keyboard and you'll also need a mouse. But if you're on an iPad, you won't need a mouse, but you'll need a keyboard, so make sure you have that. So let's just go and log in page, right? So um, we're gonna log in, and so this is what how it come. I already created this game, so that's why it's gonna come like this for me. For you, it's not gonna be like that. So yep. First of all, uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna like you know there'll be this option to sign in. Let's just go home. Let it just load. Okay, so this this is this is how you're gonna open it, right? You click start making games. So it'll take you to the sign in page. You sign in over there with your Google account, your Gmail account, or whatever email, okay? And then you just click on new game right here, okay? And now this is gonna be the new game. This is how it's gonna look. So first you wanna just wait for it to load because it's gonna take you to the editing page, all right? And once you're there, you can start editing on how your game looks and start programming. So, practically a very easy method to make games and you know get popularity and all of that. So, as you can see, uh, the editing page has opened for me. So, I'm going to be selecting the NT project, not the tutorial because the tutorial is what I'm giving you right now. Uh, so, let's select NT project and click OK. OK. And uh, so. Yeah, guys, sorry, I had to pause the video um, for a second, so I'm back now. So what you want to do, you want to go into the settings tab, and you want to make this 10 all the way 32, and you want to make this all the way to 24. So you're going to get this whole plane, click OK. 
Alright, let's just click anywhere to create a game object. So if you want to go for the background first, then uh, you have to go into the layer background. Uh, I'll be showing you how to do that later. First of all, I'm going to be uh, starting with the block. So let's just create like a simple level like Super Mario. So we're going to go here, just tap, okay, create. And then we're going to, you see this edit sprite? I just name it Grass. Okay, I just go to edit sprite. It's going to take you to this page. Alright, um, okay, so we are here. This is a sprite you can paint it any color you want, like this, okay? But I don't want to personally, I don't like it like that. So I'm just gonna go into uh, pixel blocks. Sorry, pixel blocks right here, and let the page load for a bit. And then uh, you're gonna have this grass block, you can select that, and you're gonna click OK. Okay, um, you can also make changes to the grass block, or you can just make your own grass block. Uh, I'll just select green right here and you know you can just paint it up like a normal grass block. So okay that took some time to load but we got it finally. So this is the grass block and I'm just gonna click OK and then OK and you can see that this grass block is there. Uh, how do you create it into the whole game and everything? So we're gonna just select this clone and so you can easily just clone it up the whole line okay first of all we just need the line then we're gonna make the steps and then we can go down and down and straight up and up and up you can make three games with a free account but if you have like a paid account and that's good if you have the money right and then you can just make a level okay and there we go straight up what I do for my level was um, Okay, uh, let me just reveal the secret to you, okay? You just take the blocks and just give it randomly everywhere. And da-da, your level's ready. Just delete these outer things. Uh, they're not much, so first of all, let's just click done cloning, okay? And then we're going to select each one of them. It's much easier than just, you know, moving them all in one place and then deleting them. So done with this much you might also want to create like the uh, outer side of your level uh, as a full rectangle around the page you have because uh, then it will help a lot so that your character does not fall down at least for the first level and then I'll tell you how to do the programming so now that we've got the outside cleared up right and I just create a new sprite right here I don't care about the name so let's just go and clone it up around the level Okay, so as you can see, we are almost done. We are halfway done. Don't care about if it goes outside because it's outside the level. Nobody's gonna see it. Alright, and we are done with this. And that's all. Okay, just click done cloning. Now, if you program one of this, then though everything else will get programmed itself because you cloned it, of course. So right now we're done with this. Now your level's done. Now what you want to do is make a character. So you just want to click here, create, edit sprite. And you're going to go to browse and pixel charts. Pixel chars, sorry. Um, and then right here in the pixel chars, uh, just give it some time to load. You're going to see a bunch of characters. You just, okay, it loaded. You can select either this guy, this guy. Okay, you, can, you even have a cat. And my older one, I I chose the cat, but I just you know customized it a bit. And then uh, you also have dogs, wolves, uh, these 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 uh, moths, whatever you call them. Okay, you even have this happy guy. So I'll just be going with the normal man right now. So just click OK. All right, and now we're done with this. Now, if you want to make like this uh, pop-up message, so if you fall down or anything uh, or touch the sides, you want a message, just tap any one of the blocks outside, click edit, and like create behaviors, okay? Now, this is the programming page. So, what you want to do is you want to make collusion, which means to uh, touch anything, okay? And then you want to go into um, GUI, I think, yeah, GUI, you click on alert right and you also want to pause the game so you're going to go to game flow and select pause so these are the three which you'll be needing for now and uh, also this one next level right so first you're going to get the color collusion and then we're going to have the pause okay hit 
I'm gonna click on the pause, okay? Not play because, and then after it's paused, I'm gonna show a message that do you have died or something, okay? You select the title message, I'm just gonna put who died or let's just put oops, oops, and uh, triple exclamation mark, and then you died and triple exclamation mark again, and then click to restart okay so that's what's gonna be the this is the title this is the body and this is the button okay so i want the background to be red because you did something dangerous so yep let's just make it all red okay and let the button be orange okay and let the text be pitch black and just click OK and then we're gonna go and after you click the button on this then you're gonna go to go okay and right here you're gonna select the level so we're just gonna restart current okay and then just click OK okay now if your character moves and touches anything right here he will get the message okay so that's how we do it and then you can program anything but since you cloned it keep one thing in mind that when you put one uh, this thing to um, one block so that I, I, I did the programming on this block right let's check if the programming worked on this thing too so as you can see it's also in here so because I cloned it that's why if you don't and then uh, like if you want to put the welcome message you better delete the first block and then do it for safety because if you clone it, anything can go wrong. Anything, uh, mind, mind you. Now we want to program the character first of all. So we're going to click edit. I'm going to just say um, John, okay? John is the name of the character. And we're going to go to the behaviors and we want to go into the behavior bundles. I'm going to click run and jump. Okay, you click on this, open the bundle. Alright, so basically you have to go here and this is the move left first of all just change this thing to minus four and change this thing to four that's gonna make the movement a little bit lesser than six because six is too much according to me and so everything else is done okay and this is only for the arrow key so if you want to change that uh, I will show you how to do it so this is the run and jump alright you just click ok and ok alright and now your character will not move still because you have to make it movable. You go into the physics, click on movable. And now you click OK. OK. And now if you're going to press escape, your character moves. Ta-da. Bam. And by the way, there's also a trick to it. Right? And also you want to create something like to finish up the level. For your first level, don't make it too hard for your players because then nobody else will play it. But your second level, go as hard as you want. So as you can see, this is the level and if you want to like reach here. Okay, so I went outside the thing. So it says, oops, you died, but I cannot move. I'm pressing the arrow keys. I cannot move because the game has been paused. Now if I click to continue, it's just going to restart the whole thing. So, ta-da. And I died again. That's how the game is gonna be and so we let's just get back into the editing so we have done this much but we want to make a place for a person to reach so that he may win the level one so like for example this is the place I'm gonna create something edit the sprite uh, let's just go into browse into select category into pixel blocks or pixel objects I think pixel objects so uh, we're gonna select the chest all the way bottom on the bottom the chest is gonna be there we're gonna select the chest so wait where did the chest go oh sorry not at the bottom straight up here this is the chest you can customize it uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna customize a bit of black in it because it looks cool with black and gold you know so let's just make it this way. Customize it as much as you want, feel free, okay? And 
there we go that's one part done oopsies undo and this is the second part seriously seriously okay and i just do everything perfect now okay and yes it's perfect so now the chest looks amazing okay it looks like it's shining I just click OK and OK and let's just edit it so that in the behavior you want to go into game full first of all click on the next level pause game and you also want the triggers from collusion okay so this is what you want you stick them all out right so uh, as soon as it hits something it should pause the game right if you want you can have a pop-up message go to GUI and click the alert and then you're gonna show this message you click on this to edit it I'm gonna have wow and triple exclamation mark I'm gonna say you are awesome as you finish level Okay, so, um, alright, okay, so this is done, and then you're gonna say click to restart, because you don't have a level 2 right now, so click to restart, change the color if you want, okay, I'm just gonna make it green, green, okay, make this thing uh, orange okay and then make this thing blue okay that's it and then you go click sorry click go to next level uh, pick level restart current okay done click okay and uh, that's it all right now when you're gonna play the game look Ta-da! So I'm just gonna finish up the game level right now. So since this is an easy level, you can make it as hard as you want for your friends to play. So, oh uh, sorry for the bad spelling. I didn't see that coming. Okay, so wow, you are awesome. You finished level one. Okay, if you click to continue. Let me just change the spelling error. Behaviors and. There we go. And now we're done. So this is the first level that you have made. Now you want to make the background, okay? So the first level I made of my game, it was all question marks to confuse the guy who's playing it. So you're going to go to background. Now you're editing the background there. It mentions it right here. So what you want to do, just um, select wherever you want. Create, edit the sprite. Okay, you can choose whichever one you want. I like the question mark. Uh, you can make whichever one you like. So, um, or you can just, you know, uh, take something else if you want. So, uh, let's just go into tutorial. I think it's gonna be in there. I'm not sure. It's been quite some time since I made that game. So, yep. Uh, let's go into here. It's my t okay, there we go. Uh, this is, this looks pretty confusing. This looks pretty confusing. So, okay. Okay, I won't mind. Okay, there we go. And I just clone it everywhere. Everywhere. Clone it. We're gonna clone it here and there. And, uh, sorry. Okay, I'm just still cloning it. And right here, okay. So, let's just go into the game level, uh, the game world. And ta-da! This is how your game's gonna look. So, whoa, uh, it looks pretty good for a start, you know? And you can complete it and continue on making level two and everything else. And so, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing you next time.